when we live in this world where ADA could see 100% recovery to the upside, but at the same time see like a 40% crash to the downside, things get a little dicey. But there's a very simple way to navigate through it all. What is up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Thanks for coming by. Hit the subscribe and like on the way in. Let's jump into the video. Can we just snap back to this for a second? Look at this. I'm excited, everybody. This is, I, I, I took a week off and it feels like I took like a month off, but we're in a new studio. I still got some sound treatment to do. I got to set up some cameras and, and all this, but we got the new background. I'm hype about it. We're ready for the next bull market. That's all I can say. We're ready for the next bull market. But let's jump into the Cardano charts. I know that's what you're here for. This is ADA on the weekly. Before we dive in to ADA charts, I want to start here. S&P 500 index. It's not Bitcoin. If, you hold, if you're holding Cardano or, or any altcoin, it's not Bitcoin you need to be looking at. I'm kind of, I'm over that whole, that whole thought process of watch Bitcoin. Bitcoin's what now. No, it's watch traditional and equity markets and crypto will crypto will follow it's not bitcoin and then altcoins it's crypto crypto will follow this is the article i want to start with for context don't be duped by doomsayers jp morgan says the smb smb 500 will rebound to 4900 now the reason i'm bringing this up is because even even during my hiatus this is what i'm thinking about i'm thinking about this potential rebound that could potentially happen and how it will just shock everyone and and traditional markets they are it's a storyteller to it all if we're going to see crypto make a recovery or a rebound or just start moving up <laughs> at all, it's going to start with traditional markets. And this is S&P 500 index. And this article and this analyst basically talking about a pretty big, a big move for traditional markets. Uh, it says, looking at the S&P 500 right now, you might be convinced the stock market is destined for doom in 2022. Listen, looking at crypto in general... If you're on crypto Twitter, you might feel that. You might see that emotional aspect of, of just markets right now. And you might feel like, man, this is getting, this is going to get worse. And it very well could. But that fear that's kind of intertwining itself through social media and headlines and all that, it's sinking into just the mindset and the operation of everybody that's in these markets. And that could be a dangerous thing when that emotional aspect starts to kind of hinder your ability to make good decisions, sound, wise decisions. And it's kind of what I want to talk about in this video. So going back here to the charts, this is what the article is saying, 4,900 to the upside. That's a new all-time high. It's around 2,700% for, for the S&P 500. Now, if we're going to something like ADA, it's going to be likely more than a 20 to 30% game gain in an environment like that. Here's a daily chart. We have 140% or so to the upside in play right now. And it's kind of how I started the opening because it sounds ridiculous. And there's there's people out there that, that just don't like it. They don't like that that I'm even allowing for such upside, but they also don't like that at the same time, I'm talking about potential downside. But we're going to get to that. We're going to get to why that is the, that's the secret sauce, everyone. It's where the, it's where the wisdom is in that dilemma that a lot of people seem to have. So let's start here on the weekly. There's some things I'm noticing that I wanted to bring up. Number one, look at this trend line going all the way back here. So let me get rid of the, some of these drawings. But this trend line going all the way back here to 2018, ADA still above it and actually consolidating above it on the short to midterm, uh, some short to midterm patterns that we're going to look at. Secondly, momentum. The momentum of ADA right now, if we look at it on the RSI, slower moving momentum oscillator, it's the most oversold it's ever been, and it's consolidating down here. And the, the thing I want to point out on this chart is it is down here, and the case for just upside right now is, 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 is growing. But don't be deceived by, hey, it's the lowest it's ever been. We're going to get an upside like immediately. Don't be deceived by that thought because we've been in these oversold environments where ADA kind of just does kind of go sideways and kind of tortures everybody for for weeks, crypto in general, in these oversold environments, weeks and months, right? And so don't be surprised if, if that type of consolidate consolidation happens. ADA just trickling down here, going sideways on the RSI. We, we see this, this type of thing happen back here. 
uh, going into the 2018 low. We can see back here, these look at these lower lows, the pain uh, going into January 2020. Well, that's what was happening on the RSI. It was just kind of like just trickling sideways for a while. So be ready for that. And, and then be ready on the stock RSI for just hanging out in that oversold territory for a while. This is the time to plan. This is, in my view, historically on these weekly charts and any crypto you're looking at, when we're in these environments down here, it's painful, it's ugly, it's boring, it's very unknown, but this is where the opportunity is. Looking back, most people will look back at these charts one day, I'm telling you, and they will say, oh man, what was I doing back then? Why was I paralyzed by fear? Last thing on this weekly chart I want to talk about is this, the weekly uh, MACD, the blue line, getting ready potentially for a cross above that signal line in red. Uh, it's The setup is there. We, we kind of got tricked, tricked and faked out a little bit back here in April. Be careful for something like that. But this could be a huge deal if that blue line, the MACD, crosses above that signal line. So let's keep an eye out for that over this coming week or two. Uh, and also, actually, on that MACD, you can see this. Um, let me get back to that. The histogram getting very close to zero, potentially putting in a green candle soon. Let's see how this week goes, and let's zoom in over here to the daily chart. This is the this is the chart. This is the the dilemma for so many people. Let me let me break down the targets. Number one, we have this ascending triangle that ADA has broken down through the downside, right right here, the lower trend line, and it hasn't hit its target yet down here around thirty cents. It broke to the downside and just. It's just been sideways trading for for a while, right? This is this is a daily candle back in June twelfth. So a few weeks of just sideways structure and consolidation that we're going to talk about. But this case for one hundred forty percent to the upside lies within that ascending triangle. It's a case for a busted triangle, meaning the the target to the downside never happens, and we get the break to the downside. But ADA just shows strength and boom, busted triangle to the upside. Target around $1.10 for ADA in an environment like that. It doesn't happen perfectly where it's just like boom, fake out, boom, right? It's just we have to let structure form. We have to let consolidation form. We have to let the markets tell the story of which direction it's going to go. If the direction is up and if, if S&P 500 index does see just this, this rally and this recovery and a rebound, right? If we're in that environment, this is the case for ADA. 140% to the upside, ADA back above a dollar. And then at that moment, we'd be seeing and watching what markets in general are doing, what sentiment is doing. Now, that's the busted ascending triangle. Now, the thing is, right now, ADA is consolidating, right? It is consolidating. And this helps us on the short term, kind of just give us something to track, give us something to watch. And this is the descending triangle on the six hour chart now. So uh, the consolidation that we just looked at on the daily, this is what it looks like on the six hour. It's very sideways. It's weeks of sideways. Uh, and in a crypto market, this is painful for many. Many of you know, it's painful for me just to see this. We're in crypto, everybody. You know, we're, we're, we're all about just like these huge swings to the upside, huge swings to the downside. And we track that and we're used to that. When it's sideways, things get just weird. It's just, it's like crickets and everybody's just silent and wondering what's going to happen next. But this is the descending triangle. So it's good to see some structure happening, consolidation happening for ADA. Some might chart this differently. This is what I see here. These are some lower highs and we've got just kind of this area around 43 to 45 cents, lower trend line area, ADA just bouncing around on. Uh, and just bouncing between the two. Now, one thing to note, we're, we're approaching the apex of this descending triangle. Target to the downside, 35 cents. If ADA makes it way to the downside, we will be breaking this long-term macro, lower trend line in white that we looked at over here on the weekly. Remember, it goes all the way back here to 2018, that trend line. We'd be breaking below that in an environment where ADA is breaking out of this descending triangle, hitting a target to 35 cents. This could be the stepping stones of ADA reaching the 30 cent target, which is the ascending triangle target to the downside, right? Maybe break out to the downside, pull back to the trend line, that long-term trend line, and then continuing to the downside. It could be painful. It could take some time. It could be rough. Again, it could just play games in that roller coaster type of ride way that it does, crypto does. 
Uh, but that's to the downside. So we're talking 35 cent target on the short to midterm, actually really short term because we're really approaching this uh, this apex of the triangle. And we're also talk, talking the ascending triangle target around 30 cents. So 30 to 35 cents to the downside. It's some pain. Uh, to the downside, we're looking at around 22% down to around 40%, 37%, right? So that's that, that, that's that play to the downside. But again, I digress from that because we have this, this world that we're living in where if there's a recovery, if things turn around and, and people get shocked by this, we've seen this happen before. There's going to be people in the comments that would say that, that might say it'll never happen. We've seen this happen before where just everything just goes bullish. Markets are green. Everybody's feeling great, right? Twitter is all positive and, and Bitcoin's going back to a hundred thousand dollars. Like we've, we've seen that before with every 10% plus breakout. If ADA is going to break out to the upside, this is what's in play. We have this target to the upside out of the descending triangle around 65%. Notice where that is. That's these trend lines meet, that meet from that ascending triangle. So this is the case for the busted ascending triangle to the upside coming out of the descending triangle target to the upside. Descending triangles, interestingly enough, according to Bukowski, I follow his data a lot on the pattern site.com. I really like his data. Uh, 53% of the time, a breakout can be in any direction, but it's upward 53% of the time in relation to descending triangles. It's interesting, right? So I know it's kind of 50-50, but there's, according to his trades and his data, 53% of the time, there's an upward target or upward breakout. So this is the case for ADA as we really go into the kind of this next week or so uh, going into this apex of this descending triangle. So let me, let me backtrack a little bit. In the intro, I said there's that 140, 100% plus target to the upside case. And then there's this downside case, like a 40% crash. The answer on how to navigate that is very simple. And this is, this is where people get caught up. There's a lot of people on YouTube. There's a lot of people maybe still watching this video. They're like, they're just ready for this answer. They, they just can't wait to hear my prediction and what I'm going to say. And this is where people get tripped up. I don't predict everybody. Nobody in this world, including the people in this article from JP Morgan, knows what's going to happen next. That's the sooner you realize that, the sooner you stop scouring YouTube and going on Twitter and trying to follow the top analysts that are going to tell you what to do and what's going to happen next, the sooner you do that and realize that it's impossible because it doesn't exist, nobody knows, you will be well on your way to success. I'm telling you, the reason I do these charts is to visualize every scenario. And there's a lot of people that don't like that. They want their predictions. They want to be kind of told and, and, and just, they want, to, they, they want to see the prediction, get that feeling of hopium for these upside targets if somebody's going to predict upside targets, and they just want to go off of that for the momentary satisfaction. But there's absolutely no wisdom there. It's foolishness to do that. And so what you want to do is follow TA, for, for its rules, it's a roadmap. It puts all emotion aside, understand the targets, one to the upside here and to the downside here. And in this moment, say, listen, am I comfortable? And this is why this is why I do these videos so that I can sit here every day as I'm doing my own TA and I'm saying, I understand. I understand the two extremes, a dollar ten to the upside and like 25 to 30 cents to the downside. I understand those extremes. And I see them, I visualize them. And in this moment, I'm ready for them. Meaning if we crash, I'm cool. Like I'm not going to be like distraught. And at the same time, if I am going to be accumulating, I have the plan. The plan is in place. Put that on the shelf. It's done. Now to the upside, to the other extreme, $1.10, I'll, I'll just straight up enjoy the ride, Right. I'm sure I'll sit here and be like, man, I should have accumulated a little bit more down here. Maybe there's there's always like that case to say that, but I'm fine if we get that breakout to the upside. And so I can log off this video, leave the studio, and just feel comfortable with, with just turning off the crypto switch in my mind, comfortable with my portfolio because I visualize these scenarios. And what's funny is I don't sit here predicting but if you all watch my technical analysis, we track these patterns, we track all of these moves and these moving averages and all this. And there's a lot of things we haven't even talked about in this video in relation to uh, 
to just other indicators like the moving averages, the 20 day moving average, look at that resistance here. But these things, they've offered so much guidance and they continue to, they offer so much consistency. And we, we replay videos all the time that just sh show it happening in real time. And so I really think that's going to continue to be the case because this is a, just a solid roadmap. Technical analysis offers a solid roadmap so that we can make the best sound decisions in regards to our portfolios. And this is not financial advice, everybody. I don't sit here giving financial advice. I'm simply tracking the data with you. And, and that's all we can do is track the data and be best prepared for the next move in this crazy world of crypto. So those are my thoughts. It's kind of a reintroduction of my technical analysis. I, I, I've been off only a week, but like it feels like so long. But uh, I hope you all are well. ADA has just been sideways. There's really not much happening, um, but we're going to continue to track it. Hit the subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'm ready to get back into this. Let me know how you're doing out there. Thanks for watching. If you're still out there in these markets, I'll see you in the next video. God bless.